to the Honorable Senator Sherwin Gachalian, National Statistician and Civil Register General Dennis Mapa, to our DILG Secretary Benher Abalos and the ICT Secretary Ivan Uy, my fellow local chief executives in the local government units, in the subnational government, a pleasant day to all of us. Your Union of Local Authorities of the Philippines, which is the umbrella organization of all leagues of local government units and local government officials across the Philippines, welcomes the rollout of the community-based monitoring system under the aegis of the Philippines Statistics Authority pursuant to Republic Act No. 11315. Resonating the legislative intent behind the CBMS Act, your ULAP supports LGU's effort to explore innovative ingenuity and pragmatic solutions to challenges that adversely affect the core foundations of local communities. As response measures take shape on the ground, emphasis must be given to the need for the decision-making process to be founded on hard data and analytics in terms of demographics to lay down the parameters and targets for benchmarking. Similarly, important considerations is determination of the capacity and capability baselines of the local government machinery relative to the implementation of the contemplated action plans. In this regard, CBMS is an indispensable tool that enables local leaders and development partners to address the basic needs for human security in ways that capitalize on intelligent data to aid the identification of many determinants of socioeconomic indicators. Informed policy interventions as well and program designs with evidence and empirical analysis. The adoption of the CBMS can address crucial data gaps and requirements of appropriate policy reforms and interventions, more focused targeting, as well as impact monitoring in the context of full devolution and the implications as well of the global pandemic. Specifically, it ensures informed local governance, planning and budgeting, poverty mapping, multidimensional poverty analysis, and localization of the Sustainable Development Agenda or SDGs. It likewise allows secure and efficient data sharing arrangements for greater inter-LGU collaboration, development stakeholders' engagements, and local government-national government partnerships for social protection and welfare programs. Needless to say, it is not only too risky, but a sure waste of resources to make decisions and plans without the benefit of accurate information and analysis. To be able to improve data banking, Enrollment for the immediate implementation of the CBMS is the best option toward generating disaggregated household data. In prioritizing local program and projects, it is important that assessment is made not only with regard to funding support and performance standards, but also in terms of personal complement and technical know-how for effective and efficient implementation. This pertains to the whole gamut of manpower recruitment and the skills training to attain required competencies for planning, budgeting, and investment programming, as well as program and project execution and monitoring. Given the wide-ranging menu of priority op options, LGUs must be given adequate training to upscale their technical capabilities, to intelligently determine constituency impact, program sustainability, economic feasibility, and administrative viability. I cannot overemphasize the aspect of governance for LGUs to effectively measure up to the full breadth of well-defined and assessed problems at the grassroots level. In the final analysis, with the available support of PSA and the CBMS, LGUs may not only be able to op optimize the utilization and secure accountability for the Mandalas funds, but to more importantly ensure the cuento ng cuenta for every peso of public funds spent towards successful program and project delivery. Colorado to this, I urge my fellow LGUs in the provinces, cities, municipalities, and barangays, as well as the congressional districts, to extend the necessary forms of financial and technical resource sharing and logistical assistance, as may be deemed appropriate by the parties concerned, to ensure successful conduct of the CBMS processes and smooth flow of CBMS operations at all geographic and administrative level. In closing, as your ULAP National President, I would like to remind the LGUs that we are making history for getting a record amount of funds for local governance. Let us not squander this opportunity 
to achieve the most in terms of quality services by ensuring constant handholding between LGUs and NGAs for informed and competent decision making that serves the highest interest of our constituents and the nation. Muli po, ako po si Dax Kua mula sa inyong ulap. Nagsasabing salamat po at mabuhay tayong lahat.